Today's topic is leukocytosis. Leukocytosis is a condition characterized by increased levels of leukocytes in the blood. Although this typically occurs when you're sick, it can also be caused by several other factors. Symptoms. Leukocytosis can also cause other symptoms. This may be related to the effects of the specific type of white blood cell that's elevated or any underlying health conditions that cause leukocytosis. The following are common symptoms. Fever, bleeding or bruising, feeling weak, tired or sick, feeling dizzy, faint or sweaty, pain or tingling in your arms, legs or abdomen, trouble breathing, thinking or seeing, losing weight without trying or a poor appetite. Causes. Some causes of leukocytosis are infections, inflammation, or tissue damage, immune reactions, such as during an asthma or allergy attack, bone marrow problems, such as leukemia or thrombocytopenia, medicines used to treat inflammation, mental health disorders, cancer or breathing problems, physical or emotional stress. Diagnosis. Three different types of tests are commonly used to help determine why you may have increased levels of white blood cells. 1. Complete blood count, or CBC, with differential. This is the most common test that's conducted when your WBC count is higher than normal. This test uses a machine to determine the percentage of each specific type of WC from a blood sample. 2. Peripheral blood smear. When you have neutrophilia or lymphocytosis, your doctor may perform this test, which can look at the form and maturity of all blood cells. This test may or may not confirm the type of leukocytosis. If there are immature WBCs, it may lead to bone marrow biopsy. This test involves smearing a thin layer of blood onto a glass slide and using a microscope to view the cells. 3. Bone marrow biopsy. This test is used to differentiate leukemia from benign causes. It involves taking a sample of your bone marrow, the tissue that produces WBCs, from the middle of a bone using a needle and looking at it under a microscope. This helps determine if there are any abnormal cells or an issue with the production of WBCs in the bone marrow. Treatment. The treatment for leukocytosis can vary depending on its specific cause. Some of the most common treatment options include antihistamines for allergic reactions, inhalers for asthma, antibiotics for bacterial infections, cancer treatments like chemotherapy, radiation or stem cell transplants for leukemia, medications to treat stress or anxiety, treatment for inflammatory conditions, changing medications to prevent adverse reactions to certain drugs. Precautions. There are several ways that you can prevent leukocytosis, including maintaining a healthy, active lifestyle, practicing proper hygiene and hand washing to prevent infection, reducing stress levels, seeking treatment for anxiety or mental health issues as needed, avoiding potential allergens, not smoking, taking medications for any health conditions as directed by your doctor. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.